Let's turn this into a robot helmet. First, I will subdivide it by pressing Ctrl 5 and apply it. Apply two more levels of subdivision, apply that as well. So now we have a nice smooth sphere. And in sculpt mode, we can, from the side view, use a grab brush. Let's turn on X symmetry, make this a bit bigger, and then change the shape a bit more like it's a head. In the front or the graphic view, we can use a line project to give it a flatter shape. I'm going to remesh this. Uh, you can preview the voxel remesh by pressing R, not Shift R like it used to be, since 3.4 or 3.5 they changed it. So about that, and then Control R to remesh. It's not very high res. So let me let me make that a little bit smaller still. And I will use a mesh filter set to smooth to make it a bit smoother. Okay. And now let's draw a mask. There's a couple of ways to draw masks. Uh, we can use the lasso mask. So we can use this. To quickly draw some shapes. For example. But we can also just use the mask brush. Make this radius a bit smaller and with a high enough strength you get a pretty clean line. I've also set the stroke method to line instead of the default dots. So I can just drag some mask lines very cleanly in. Holding control will erase. So if I hold control, I can clean these up a bit. So you can add to these edges and you can also subtract by holding control. To make them nice and sharp. I don't know, something like that. So now we've got our mask, but what we really want is a face set. So let's go to face set from masked and press Alt M to clear the mask. Now face sets, they are very jagged like this, but that's all right. You can fix that by going to mesh filter, relax face sets, and then you can make it Nice and smooth, if that's what you want. But in this case, it's not necessary. I'm just going to go to extract face set and then just picking that face set. And this gives us a solidify modifier, which is great. We can choose a thickness for our helmet. And then we can just uh, apply that. So now we add a decimate modifier. And we have to take that value down. And that really depends on how much geometry the object had in the first place. So this exact value is something that you have to experiment with. But the idea is to get it really low, kind of a low poly, so that it becomes more hard surfacey, I guess. At this point, it helps to turn on Shade Auto Smooth because then you can see a kind of a preview of what it will look like later. And so we need to get rid of these jagged edges there. So we need to find the right value. 
This value looks okay, but uh, let me check with the wireframe display in overlays. And I think we can go even lower. I really want as little geometry as possible. I think I will go with this and I will apply that. And let's turn off wireframe display. What we can also do is to get rid of a little bit more edges is by pressing Alt J. That turns tries into quads wherever possible. So let's see. I think we can delete these. We can delete this one. I'm just trying to dissolve some geometry that might be problematic later. This looks a bit weird. You can always do some manual adjustments. One more thing I want to do is select all and symmetrize it. Okay. So now what we can do with everything deselected is we can go to select, select sharp edges, and that just selects everything over a specific angle. So in this case, by default, it's 30 degrees. And you can add some edges by holding shift and selecting them. I think that looks fine for the rest. And now we can press shift E and one, which creases them. You can also find that here, the mean crease. And that means that when we subdivide it, because we're looking at this now smooth shaded, but if you look at it flat shaded, this is what it will look like in sculpt mode. And we don't really want that. So if we subdivide it now, you will see that it gets smoothed out, but it keeps those edges that were creased sharp. And this gives us an opportunity to fine tune these edges a little bit more. We can add some creasing here and there if we like. Or remove it by pressing Shift E and minus one. Or, you know, you can decrease it here in the panel. Okay. So we can apply this and then we can symmetrize this one more time. And now if we go to edit mode, you will see in edge flex mode that those creases, those uh, purple lines, they are still there, even though we subdivided the mesh. And that's great because when we go to sculpt mode now, we can create face sets based on these edge creases. So now wherever it finds an edge that is creased, it will use that as a boundary for a face set. So we have face sets for every part that needs to be sharp. That's great because it means that we can smooth this in sculpt mode while still retaining the sharpness. So let me uh, voxel remesh that at first. And because face masks are preserved now by default, so we still keep the face sets even though the voxel remesh has done its thing. And now what we can do is we can use a mesh filter, set it to smooth, and then use the new auto masking face set boundary. And we can drag to the right and then everything is smoothed out, but without destroying the edges that are sharp. And we can turn off face sets boundaries and maybe do another remesh and then just smooth everything a little bit. Maybe remesh even one more time. Smooth it a little bit more. This adds a little bit of a bevel, but at least uh, we still keep these sharp edges for the most part. Very nice. So that's a pretty quick way to create a kind of a hard surface concept for a helmet.